graduates, you may be seated. At this time, we'll have our national anthem performed today by Diamond Brown and Serenade Drake. If you would please stand for the national anthem. enjoy this musical interlude while we seat our remaining guests.
Good evening. My name is Chris Hall, and I'm the fourth and fifth grade pastor here at Bellevue. On behalf of Dr. Steve Gaines and our Bellevue family, we want to welcome you to our church. Thank you for being here. We're excited for the night. We're praying for you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening. Miss Paris. Good evening, parents, family, friends, educators, and most importantly, 2024 graduates. I am Paris Walker. I have had the pleasure to serve as your 2023 and 2024 senior class president. Thank you for allowing me to be your voice. It has truly been an honor to experience our 12th year together. Today marks a significant milestone in our life. It is not just a testament to the academic achievements that we have earned, but a celebration of the friendships and the memories that we have created along the way. To my fellow graduates, the roads ahead would not always be smooth. There will be times when each of us face different crossroads, moments of doubts, and challenges. I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all those who have supported us on this journey, our parents, family, friends, teachers, and administrators. So with that being said, class of 2024, let's turn the page together and start writing our next chapter. Congratulations, we did it. Good evening, everyone. My name is Trinity Brooks, and as this year's Executive Student Government President, I am honored to be here with you today. Of course, I want to start off by saying congratulations to the graduating class of 2024. I'd also like to acknowledge the support we've had along the way. There's not enough thanks in this world to give to all who have supported us. But on behalf of me and my peers, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all the parents, guardians, teachers, administrators, counselors, coaches, and so many others in attendance today. Thank you for keeping us on track and making sure we know our options. Thank you providing, for providing us endless support, advice, and love when things started looking hopeless, and for celebrating with us in our victories. It means more than you could, <laughs> it means more than you could possibly comprehend. Children are a product of their environments, and the fact that we are all standing here today is a testament to, th to the fact that something went right. This journey wasn't easy, as evidenced by how impatiently many of us have been waiting for today, yet the goodbye is bittersweet, as evidenced by how many tears I've already witnessed. This isn't exclusively a goodbye, though. It's also a beginning. Today marks the first steps into what will shape up to be the rest of our lives. As we move into the next chapter, it is crucial that we utilize this, the many social and intellectual skills we've been taught over the years in order to achieve what I know each and every one of us is capable of, greatness. At this time, I would like to introduce our platform guests. From Memphis Shelby County Schools, we have high school superintendent, Ms. Jennerette Walker. From Memphis Shelby County Schools, we have Mr. Mike Collins. <laughs> Executive Director, Chief of Staff. From Memphis Shelby County Schools, we have Ms. Gordon, Director of Early Childhood Education. <laughs> also from Memphis Shelby County Schools, we have our Director of STEM, Dr. Dietrich McGee, and our Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Tito Langston. From Bolton Agrestem High School, we have Mr. Jeremy Smith, Senior Counselor. From Bolton Agrestem High School, we have Ms. Brandy Jean, Assistant Principal. From Bolton Agrestem High School, we have Dr. Yolanda Young, Assistant Principal. And from Bolton Agrestem High School, we have Ms. Janita Bell Bolden, Vice Principal. We also have, um, from Bolton Agrestem High School, Mr. Brandon Pointer, our principal. Thank you. Good 
Good evening, guests of the class of 2024. I have the joy of introducing our valedictorian for this year, Elizabeth Luna. <laughs> Elizabeth has demonstrated academic excellence during her time at Bolton. She will graduate with a weighted GPA of 4.31. and will attend the University of Memphis in the fall. Elizabeth is a shining example of hard work and dedication. Please welcome our valedictorian, Ms. Elizabeth Luna. administrators and graduating students to the graduating ceremony of Bolton High's class of 2024. On behalf of our seniors, I would love to thank everyone attending here today who have supported us in our long journey and who have withstood all of our whining about not wanting to go to school. Thank you to the administrators who have dealt with all of our questions and are finally getting rid of us. It is thanks to you all that we have managed to make it this far in life where we have obtained our high school diploma, and most importantly, congratulations to the graduating class of 2024. Bienvenidos, amigos, familias, administradores, y estudiantes graduados a la ceremonia de graduación de la clase 2024 de Bolton High. En nombre de nuestros estudiantes, me gustaría agradecer a todos los que están aquí presentes que nos han apoyado en nuestro largo camino. Gracias a los administradores que han, que han atendido todos nuestros pedidos y que finalmente se están deshaciendo de nosotros. Gracias a todos ustedes que hemos logrado llegar en, tan lejos en la vida, donde hemos obtenido nuestro diploma y finalmente felicitaciones a la clase de 2024. It is with great pleasure to be standing here today as a Val Victorian of Bolton High School. I would like to give a special thanks to my family who have supported me through this tough journey. They are the reason why I'm standing here today. When we reflect on our high school years, we remember all of our happiest and saddest moments that we shared together. Although it is sad that we must part ways as we have different paths, it is important to understand that today we are accomplishing something great. A high school diploma isn't something small. It is our very first greatest achievement in life. We have been in school for countless years waiting for this very moment. So instead of being sad, we should be proud of how far we have all came. As we conclude our final years together, there is one piece of advice I would like to share today. I know we have heard this countless times at school. However, after graduating today, it is now time to use this opportunity to focus on our future. Our future changes quickly. We have witnessed this by seeing how quickly our school years have gone by. We cannot wait for the next week or the week after. It is time to start our adult lives. It may be tedious at first. However, once you are able to figure out your passion, it will become more enjoyable. Do not let anything hold you back. For many of us, college isn't for us. That is why there are many other options for us to choose. Now that we have closed this chapter of our lives, it is now time to open, open up a new beginning. There are countless doors of opportunity waiting for us to be open for us. With that, I would like to once again congratulate Bolton High's class of 2024.
Welcome parents, guests, and graduates. Graduates, this evening I'm introducing the Bolton Class of 2024 salutatorian Trinity Brooks. During her time at Bolton High, Trinity has taken the road less traveled. During her four years, she enrolled in over 20 advanced courses, academic advanced courses, scored a 30 on the ACT, and will graduate with a weighted GPA of 4.14. Please welcome our 2024 salutatorian, Ms. Trinity Brooks. Hello again, everyone. I am your 2024 Bolton High School salutatorian, and I am humbled to have the opportunity to offer you, offer you all a few more parting words. I spoke previously about the enormous impact the supporters in our lives have had on us as graduates, which again cannot be overstated. As I said, children are a product of their environments. This is true, however, we are not children anymore. Every single one of us has been on a journey over the last four years that is inequivocally our own. It would be naive of me to think I can take into account the intricacies and nuances of all those journeys and come up with a message that would apply to all of them, but I do know that despite every obstacle standing in the way of success, we're all standing here today, ready to move on to the next stage of our lives, whether that be college, trade or Votech school, work or an alternative option. Your potential as high school graduates is limited only by the amount of effort you are willing to put into your future. You can no longer solely reply, rely on the providers in your life, though of course I'm sure that they will be there regardless. You cannot control the actions of others, only yourself. So don't base your decisions purely on the opinions of people who will not have to face the consequences. Do your research into schools, scholarships, places of employment, and living arrangements so that your certainty in your own success is absolute. You are not alone, you never truly have been, and it is important to remember that. But you also need to remember that you are the one who has to live the rest of your life with the decisions you make, no pressure. We are the future of politics, science, and art, and I have full confidence that our future is bright. Once again, I am profoundly grateful to have had this opportunity. Thank you. Good evening. I would like to recognize uh, a few of the academic achievements of the class of 2024. I'd first of all like to say how really proud I am of these young people sitting in front of me this evening. You guys are our future, and the future is looking great. And I appreciate all the hard work that you guys have done this year. And uh, with that, I'd like to start out recognizing, first of all, the class of 2024 has amassed close to $2.5 million in academic scholarships. That's the hope, Tennessee promise institutional scholarships, and also local scholarships. I'd also like to recognize some of the students who have graduated with, with honors. Um, we have one student that graduated with honors and distinction, and honors uh, this, uh, diploma means that they met all of the benchmarks on the ACT, and that award went to Trinity Brooks. And then we have several students who are receiving an exemplary diploma tonight. Now an exemplary diploma means that they didn't take the easiest schedule that they could take. In other words, they didn't take the cupcake schedule. They took the hard classes. They earned up to 12 credits of AP classes and honors classes. So they had quite a load of that every year. So the recipients of those, uh, of the exemplary diploma is Trinity Brooks, <laughs> Diamond Brown, <laughs> Kennedy Brown, 
Mamadou Diallo, Brianna Lewis, Elizabeth Luna, Kenya Thomas, Taylor Townsell, and Xavier Wade. All right, and one more group I'd like to recognize that these are graduating with distinction. So that means these students graduated with at least a B average, and most of them earned some type of industrial certification uh, through one of our CTE classes. So the recipients of this, uh, of the graduate with distinction is Jayla Bell, <coughs> Tronikia Brady, Haley Brooks, Kennedy Brown, Donovan Catherine, Mamadou Jallo, Trinity Ford, Aaliyah Gardner, Jemiah Goins, Kayla Green, Jarvis Green, Jemiah Harris, Jaden Kent, Brianna Lewis, Elizabeth Luna, Braden Massey, Kylan McCann, Linnea Meeks, Joyce Musa, Destiny Phillips, Christian Playtes, Cortland Powell, Erica Roach, William Romo, and Oladell Salami. I believe that is the most that I've ever had to graduate with the Distinction Award. So again, congratulations. I have one, one more small group of students that I would like to recognize. And these three students don't know that I'm doing this. I did not tell them that I was going to recognize them this evening. But if you had told me at the beginning of the school year that they would be here with us tonight, I would have had my doubts, to be honest. But they had a long hill to climb. They persevered. And they are with us here tonight. So I want to give what I would call the Comeback Award to these three students. And I, I'm sorry I didn't ask the others to stand, but if you guys would please stand, because I, I want you guys to be recognized. Because this is a night for academic achievement. And not just the high achievers, and that's great but the ones that, it, that really worked hard to get here tonight. Those three young men, Anthony Hudson, <laughs> Jamarco O'Neill, And Mr. Andrew Wright, please stand. All right, I got some good practice before I read, read names. All right, so we'll move on. Thank you, guys. Chief Legston, Bolton Agristem High School has 161 students who meet the graduation requirements set forth by the Tennessee Department of Education and Memphis Shelby County Schools. We ask that you award diplomas to these students.
Emily Granados. Elizabeth Luna. Trinity Brooks. Mamadou Giallo. Brianna Lewis. Linnea Meeks. India Harden. William Romo. Kennedy Brown. Kenya Thomas. Aaliyah Gardner. Ja'Kai Lafar. Jayla Bell. Jemiah Goins. L. Brown. Jemiah Jones. Javante Vaughn. Darius Gatewood. Paris Biles. Estefany Reyes. Jaden Kent. Jaco Addison. Alexandria Andrews. Judea Allen. Tadarian Allman. Jason Arrington. Antonio Batts. Nicholas Bennett. Madison Berry. Valentino Blackwell. <laughs> Kayla Boga. <laughs> Damian Bonner. <laughs> Tranikia Brady.
Gavin Branch. Haley Brooks. Daryl Brown. Dequisha Brown. Diamond Brown. Howard Brown. Satoria Brown. Jaden Brownlee. Kelsey Brunson. Kaya Brunson. Cameron Bryan. Emily Burrow. Kanice Bynum. Obed Cancino. Donovan Catherine. Aaliyah Christopher. Aaron Christopher. Kanaya Coleman. Kevin Collins. Precious Collins. Travante Conway. Ryan Craig. Brenda Cuevas. Elena Dancy. Nicholas Daniel. Gabrielle Dean. Takato Dyson. Zadarius Earl. Riley Dempsey. Demarion Faulkner. Anthony Hudson. Aquarius Ingram. Solomon Israel.
Jamarius Jackson. Keon Jarrett. Brian Jenkins. Cassandra Johnson. Kaya Johnson. Grayson Garner. Davion Gates. Carly Golden. <laughs> Kayla Green. Dantrell Green. Jarvis Green. Neo Gutierrez. Tyler Hampton. Destiny Harris. Joshua Eklund. Jaden Eccles. Evan Edwards. Jaden Edwards. Chloe Fields. Amarion Ford. Amarius Ford. Trinity Ford. Winter Johnson. Dyron Palm. Jariel Parham. Ricky Parker. Cameron Patterson. Joshua Patton. Cameron Piggies. Destiny Phillips. Riley Pianca. Tambria Jones. <laughs> Yasmin Lewis. <laughs> Cody Little. <laughs> Keontae Lott. To carry on Mar. Braden Massey.
Christian Matthews. Ataria Mays. Tierney Pittman. Deja Harris. Jocelyn Moore. Jemiah Harris. Cameron Harris. Keelan Harris. Kaylee Hay. Chaz Hayslet, Jordan Hiley, Jalen Howard, Maisha Pittman. Denise Taylor. Destiny Torres. Taylor Townsell. Heaven Tyler. Soraya Vaden. Xavier Wade. Marquia Walker. Paris Walker. Smith, Kristen Plates, Rodney Plymouth, Cortland Powell. Shania Ransom. Taloris Reed. Jada Rice. Shermaine Richmond. Erica Roach. Jarvis Robinson. Jalen Wiggins. Kylan McCann. Tiger McKinney. Christian Morellis.
Aki Mohammed. Joyce Musa. Ariana Nichols. Luke Nelson. Jamarco O'Neill. Joy Okane. Tyler Wesley. Jalen White. Ramiah Wilson. Andrew Wright. Janelle Yates. Hassan Yoku. Lamaria Ross. Oladel Salami. Zachariah Seacrest. Ebony Shelton. Kalia Shields. Camarian Stewart. Cameron Stewart. Kylan Stewart. Good evening. By the power vested in me by the state of Tennessee and the Memphis Shelby County School Board, I hereby release diplomas to be awarded to the members of the 2024 graduating class of Bolton Agustin High School. Congratulations. to the class of 2024. As we close tonight's ceremony, I'd like to leave you with this. Take time to work, for it is the price of success. Take time to think, it is the source of power. Take time to laugh, laughter is music to the soul. Take time to love and be loved, love gives life meaning. Whatever you choose to do in life, do it with all of your heart. Family and friends, we thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for the support that you've given this special group of students in front of us. To the class of 2024, we're proud of you and we wish you the best. Graduates, would you please stand? class of 2024. You are our newest Bolton alumni. At this time, you may turn your tassels.
guests, please remain standing as our graduates exit the sanctuary.